would like to tell you about our, uh, uh, our idea for uh, MetaKids, which is one of the organizations in our group. <coughs> My organization, so I'm a very happy lady. Um, what we do is we raise funds for research for metabolic disease. In short, you are born with a metabolic disease and uh, a lot of children die from these diseases. And the only solution is research. So that's why we need a lot of money to do a lot of research. And we came up with a, a proposal to use uh, donor Nina, as you all read about her yesterday, uh, to get two million dollars every year to do research. In a nutshell, our idea for, for Nina to, to help us raise funds is a similar to a pyramid giving scheme, but not just any ordinary pyramid giving, giving scheme, because it incorporates match giving and pay as you can, the, one of the business models we looked at before. So that's our idea in a nutshell. Bob is going to take you through, he's going to bring to life, show exactly what that, what that means, and then I'll talk a bit more about that. So we're hoping to create something called Nina's World. Okay. One of the key, yeah, one of the key insights we had was that Nina needs to be needed, but she's also going through a sense of not belonging to a specific place, a sense of wanting to belong to something. <coughs> so we were thinking of leveraging on Nina and her networks, and it all starts with Nina, okay? And it will be branded around her and that sort of thing. And all she has to do is give, well, we'd said here, dollars, <coughs> $10,000, yeah, between her and her family maybe, and find three friends who will do the same. And then they have to keep finding three, so it keeps working as a triangle all the way down. And it doesn't have to go very far. It's basically uh, five tiers of three, three to the power of five. We'll end up with about $240 donors, and that works out to roughly around $243 uh, million, $2.43 million. Uh, and we were looking at, some people will give a bit more, some will give a bit less, but there's a, there's a threshold around the $10,000 mark. Yeah, because for about $10,000, you can have one basic research to bring a, a little solution for children with metabolic diseases. So that's why we chose the 10,000 as a kind of a landmark. And whenever you donate this 10,000, you will have your name connected to the research. So a research will be made possible by, and then you have your name. So back to the, uh, the slideshow presentation. At the heart of our idea, it's insight-driven idea. Three key insights of Nina's emotional needs needing to be needed, her lifestyle needs, we're making use of her network, and we're making use of her professional expertise as, 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 a, as a financial <coughs> investor. And then it brings together three existing ideas into one idea. Should we move this? Um, yes. So the reasons to do it, number one, it's drawing on insights on Nina. Number two, um, you can buy your own research project. So, in effect, you're giving a research project rather than giving money is another way to look at it. Um, and number three, it's really making use of the, the power of network dynamics. <coughs> so, when we were coming through, coming up with this idea, we talked about some of the possible reasons why, um, some of the criticisms that, that actually we had with it. And um, one of those is that um, pyramid giving traditionally has a bit of a, uh, a bad image, gets a bit, bit of a bad rap, but in this way, and the fact that you're effectively giving a research project um, and you're, you're asking your friends to match what you're giving, so it's a bit like saying, I'll give 10,000 if you give 10,000, or I'll give a research project if you give a research project, we're transforming something that's actually seen as being negative into actually something quite useful and quite positive. Um, as I said before, giving research rather than giving money. Um, it's another opportunity for Nina's peers and Nina to network. Um, it allows people to raise their profile amongst their peers. Um, it allows them to join an exclusive group of people who have their name against research projects. Um, and the idea of pay as you can means that if you can't afford 10,000, you can actually just pay as much as you can. So um, if my friend could only afford 1,000, then I would give 1,000 and they would give 1,000 as well. 
Um, and at the end of the year, we'd have Nina's ball. So again, Nina's central to the idea. Um, it would be exclusive invite to the 243 members who could, who could afford the 10,000 donation. Um, and it would allow an opportunity for the re to meet the researchers directly, to provide feedback to the program, and rally support for the next, for next year's plans. Therefore, making use of the network um, for, for, for future use. And that is our presentation. <laughs> All we need now is Nina's number, and we think we, think we can crack it. We do believe it, this is sustainable, because it can, it can happen again and again and again. And in fact, it's, the power, it's all about the power of the network. And once we have that network, we can either use this idea or we can use another idea moving forward for, for coming years. So that's our idea. Thank you for listening.